Hi guys and welcome back to another Dr. East video and today we're going to be playing Two Point Hospital once again. Two Point Hospital a few days ago was absolutely amazing, I thoroughly enjoyed playing it and we of course met the greatest janitor of all time, Gary Sausage, which we may or may not be using today. Fingers crossed we will be getting a chance to use them again. But I'm going to jump on to the next part since we couldn't actually progress any further in that other hospital we made. Let's see what else we can do. So welcome to Lower Bullocks. This is a lovely little village with a big problem. A significant proportion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. One thing that can cure this, psychiatry. So we need to build a psychiatry. And as of course, you know, this is a new hospital in Lower Bollocks. Lower bullet. Okay, so we got the chair. Let's have the couch, the, uh, the chaise lounge, like right on the other side of the room. <laughs> so he has to shout across the room. Filing cabinet, bin, fire extinguisher, right near the door, and of course, our plant. Oh, and an aircon unit, because you never know. So that there is our first psychiatry room, and <laughs> it's going to be awkward as hell sitting in there. Oh my god, is that Frankie Freddie Mercury? <laughs> wow. Let's hope he doesn't die, because otherwise. Another one will bite the doors. Oh my god, there's loads of them! There's a black Freddie Mercury! So let's have another GP's office. This time we're gonna try and get it right without putting it the wrong way around, which we have done. Filing cabinet. Big bin! Fire extinguisher, of course. I'm pretty much just filling it with shit because I want to. Plant in the middle of the room. Double plant. Didn't see that coming, did you? We have cured someone. Oh! Well played! Melissa Mojo is now a normal person. Look at old Freddie here, Naomi Flan. Oh my god, there's, there's just so many of them. See, that's the thing when you're looking at magazine stands. As a Freddie Mercury fan, you want them all. <laughs> I just realised after making this room here, the staff room, if you can see the obvious problem then good on you, but in, this, in the doctor's office right now, in the GP's office, <laughs> there's windows straight through so you can see exactly what's going on in there. That is terrible. That is a major design flaw. You know the rules. Fire extinguisher in the toilet. Because you never know. Of course we got the classic plant in there too. So how soon does one cure from this Freddie Mercury syndrome? Oh wow, he even has the mic. Oh, what the hell? Pictures everywhere. Enter name. <gasps> I can change the name. Ah, oh, we need another doctor. Lucille Tumbleweed. No questions asked. Get yourself in there, sunshine. So I've just been flicking through the janitor page because I'm desperately trying to find Gary Sausage. However, we do have Rob Bottomley. Barney Mountain. But they're not quite Gary Sausage, are they? Looks like Barney Mountain is going to join the team. Oh, here we go. Come on, old Barney. I do like those red trousers, though. <laughs> Look how annoying that is <laughs> to sit from one side of the room <laughs> and shout. I'm a little bit concerned about Clyde Moon. He has not taken care of the plant there. A little bit disappointed. That one hasn't had any water yet. What does that symbol mean? Oh, a staff challenge from Barney Mountain. Suddenly this guy thinks he's Gary Sausage all of a sudden. Know your place. Oh, it's... Oh, okay, he's issuing a challenge to go 90 days without a death. You're on. Oh, Barney Mountain. Why was Barney upgrading it and now all of a sudden... Clyde Moon is. Let's get another psychiatrist in. Charlotte Leopard! Pans Lab? What the hell's a Pans Lab? That's cool. I did not know you could do that. Buy this land. So it'll take 15 days for it to check. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really cool. So we can extend the hospital. I like it. But wait, there's seven people? Oh my god, there's Freddie Mercury's everywhere. Well, surely you can't die from Fred Freddie Mercury syndrome. It's called. Okay, that room's done. Just now need another one because we've got a waiting list of six people. Gotta get some nurses in. Ace Bungle? Ace Bungle? Ace? Get in there, sweetheart. So another Sue Beeves or Ian Pudding. Come on, Ian. What is that? I'm hoping they know what that is because I certainly don't. There's a sweet dispenser in there. Why? Oh no, the light bulb thingy. I'm gonna get that light bulb thingy majig over there in a the bin. And a fire extinguisher because you never know. You never know. Oh lord, what's happened to him? Hungry, nauseous, treatment failed. Oh, well, don't die in here, whatever you do, because otherwise Clyde's going to have a field day. We will make a ward. Oh, wow, we're rapidly running out of pennies. Ooh, I don't really have much room for a sc another screen. Just, just chuck a bin down instead, then. Now we need a nurse to go in there. Could Gary Funkel? <laughs> Oh, I can't even, I can't even hire him. Bloody hell. What's this for? Well, look at the queue. Where are all my doctors gone? Eugene Fossil. Ben, stop. In fact, Ben, stop. Welcome to the team. Tell you what, this has got really busy compared to the last one. We've all, we've almost done it. We've almost got 90 days without a death. Suck it, Clyde. There is so many people in here. I mean, it's not like it was a prison architect with an absolute rave. There's a pandemic going around. <laughs> Oh my lord, why is he on the floor? A speculate to accumulate, buy more snacks. Okay, we're still losing five grand a month. What's that five grand a year? There's no one, there's no one managing, manage, oh, I can't speak. There's no one manning the reception desk. Uh, Hugo Hurt, Ellie Cardigan, Dotty Pillow. Ellie Cardigan, welcome to the team. Where is the health inspector? It's the same guy as last time. Henry Jobsworth. Right, give me a double thumbs up, you bastard. I know what we need. Another plant. I haven't even seen what Henry's doing. 
<laughs> double thumbs up. So we could do with a few more stuff around here. Oh, he's giving double thumbs up. Look at him. I actually don't know where the health inspector is. Oh, he's in the staff room now. Oh, he's giving a, a round of applause and a double thumbs up. Wow, the health inspector's still here. He's having a bloody good time. Oh, I just cancelled something I didn't mean to cancel. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So I'm trying to figure out how we can get to hospital level 6, because I don't want to just fill it with crap. I've been on the janitor list again looking for Gary Sausage, and I can only find Robert Tingle, Maureen Phantom, or Winston Debauchery. <laughs> Very tempted to hire Winston Debauchery because of that fantastic name. Oh, end of view. Oh, let's have a look at the review then, shall we? The first award is Doctor of the Year. Oh, we got Dr. Emma Gold. Yes. Give her a promotion when we get back. Nurse of the Year goes to Ian Pudding! Oh, oh. Promotion for Ian Pudding as well when we get back. Oh, of course, yeah. We didn't have any deaths, did we? In Lower Bollocks. Nice. At uh, Lower Bollock. Oh, but the Patient's Choice Award goes to Lower Bollocks. Right, first things first. Staff. Emma Gold. Have a pay increase. I don't know about that much. Ian Pudding! That's who it was. Congratulations. Still trying to get up to uh, prestige level 6. I think we're going to buy another plot of land. That's what we're going to do. 50k. Someone perished. Someone passed. I don't believe it. I don't believe that someone just died. Oh my lord. Where is Gary Sausage when we need him? Can someone take care of that please? Oh Jesus. Oh lord. And we're not going to achieve the light-headed patient list, are we? We needed to get 7. We've only had five. Oh my lord. Where the hell is our janitor? Oh, there he is. He's sorting it out. Go on, Barney. Come on, Barney. Go get him, Barney. Yes, Barney. Yes. Right, just for that alone, here's six grand. Went for a double plant. Prestige level six for the hospital. Oh my lord, what the hell's happening there? We got the one star rating. Staff promotion. Ben Stop is ready for promotion from junior doctor to doctor. Uh, yes. Give him all of it. So I say let's hire another doctor. Uh, ooh, Carl Milk. Gregory Bungle. Hortense vibes. I'll hire Gregory Bungle. He's a lot more expensive than the others, but he won't need to be trained because he's a beast already. So then, what's Barney Mountain got to say? Uh, I'm not usually one for suggestions, but the other day I had this great idea. Can't stop thinking about it. What if we were to, like, hear some people? Wouldn't that be cool? I'll take your challenge and I'll accept it, you bastard. Uh, what is wrong with that plant? Gary Sausage to plant. No Gary Sausage, that's why the plant's died. Someone's, someone's just perished. Gary Sausage to fish. <laughs> oh, look at this fella. I don't know about you, but all these Freddie Mercury people, it's got me under pressure. Oh, here he is, he's having a bit of a dance. <laughs> No, no, don't let me stop you now. That's a shame for him to be sat there on his own. He just needs somebody to love. Maybe a killer queen, perhaps? Clyde Moon is ready for promotion, but he won't even look at me because he's got his eyes closed. But yes, Clyde Moon seems to be okay. Get a promotion, sunshine. So the one mean, the one over his head is means he's in a queue. A queue for fat bottom girls. So we now have Flottering available, which we haven't been on yet. However, I would like to just quickly check in with Gary Sausage. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Gary Sausage, reveal yourself! Gary Sausage! <laughs> He's got swagger for days. What a legendary man. I could watch him all day, honestly. Oh, it wasn't quite enough. Man, we can upgrade a lot of these things, so hopefully after this, Gary Sausage will get this place to a two-star hospital. Look at Gary. He's upgrading items now. The guy just can't be stopped. Give that man an even bigger promo- Is that it? I can only give him $600? I want to get to this to two stars before we uh, call it quits. So where's old Gazza then? Oh, he's been introduced. He's been seduced more like. Hands off, Gary. Look at that moustache. Oh, it's almost level six, but not quite. So what else can we get in there to upgrade it? Oh, it's almost a level six. Let's have a poster on there as well. Has that done it? Oh, he's still not done it. What else could we make in here? Probably just make another GP's office, perhaps. Hopefully this gets us to level six. Fire extinguisher. Aircon in the corner. And a plant. Either side. Level six. <laughs> Yes! We did it! With Gary Sausage, anything is possible. The hospital value is over one million dollars. But upon that note, I think we're going to call it quits here. I absolutely love playing this game and I will have any excuse to do another video on this game again. So if you do want to see that, make sure you click the like button and comment down below. It's the best way to tell me that you enjoy the video. So upon that note, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now, Gary Sausage!